Good day, Ruskin enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right. It's time for Rust Workshop Skin Checks. But to all the new people who've just turned up, if you were to look in the description of this very video that you're watching right now, you'll see a link to this full collection and you'll be able to go through all of these skins at your own pace or you might want to sit back and listen to me as I talk about them. The choice is up to you. Feel free to do however as you wish. If you're someone who only wants to skip ahead to all the collection continuations, I also have chapter links in the description as well. So the choice is up to you. Now sit back and relax, we're going to get talking. So guys, the reason why I mention that is because recently I'm fully well aware that we have got a lot of skins. Last week's video went up to about two hours long, and that's a little bit too ridiculous, I'm afraid. I can't keep doing that every single week, so I'm going to have to go to my old format where I'm only going to really showcase the skins that are actual collection continuations, you know, the main focus of what this video is, because remember, I'm looking at all of this with a financial perspective. I'm anticipating what potentially might be picked next. I'm anticipating what potentially might be a nice investment. That's the main focus. I'm not really here to be a showcase person. Rather, I'm an investor looking to try, you know, trying to make a nice potential profit. You get the idea. So if that unfortunately doesn't sound nice to you, I'm sorry, but like it's getting a bit too ridiculous. So if you notice today that I'm not looking at your skin, I'm sorry. The most likely answer is, is that it wasn't a continuation. I might look at certain skins based on some special factors. But other than that, I've got to be a little bit more efficient with the time and a little bit more like straightforward. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people aren't very happy with the fact that I've been just rambling on and on and on. I get that. I'm self-aware. So we're going to make a change from here and now. If we see like over a hundred skins i'm going to be more efficient with my videos if it's a fair bit less we can take our time we can enjoy ourselves but i am aware all right so just wanted to get that all nice and said cool so before we get started i should just go through the normal routine guys we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of the brand new rust workshop skin checks get a good look at all these yep it's a nice little teaser yep 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 and you're probably wondering hedge what's that how have you how are you able to see all of those skins in that order all nicely presented to you well it's because i have a foot sorry <clears throat> well it's because i have a followed authors list and if you look in the top right of this video sorry if you look at the top right of this video you'll see a special card has appeared if you click that it'll navigate you to a very special video which will help provide to you many different ways in which you can build up your own followed authors list so you can always be informed of all the new potential skins that will be coming out you get the idea so consider watching that it's up to you and don't forget keep an eye out for tdg's newest list now this was last week's list he hasn't produced one yet i'm pretty sure he'll probably produce one by wednesday so just keep an eye out and also of course keep an eye out on the likes of his youtube i think he's got some potential problems at the moment so we can only wish him all the best but yeah Keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure we're still going to see a top picks list for week four. So keep your eyes uh, peeled. And uh, don't forget, we're going to be looking at all the collection continuations today with the help of uh, SEMM.app. Basically, we're going to look at their collections and we're going to debate whether they're potentially going to be a nice investment if we were to actually jump into certain skins, skin collections. I'm sure you understand. Because like I said, the main intention with this video is to identify all the collection continuations and then we question hmm should we jump in and invest into the skins that are already part of that collection based on the potential that the skins that we see are that are new collection continuations potentially been accepted in a future rust off if that makes sense because by default when we see a collection continuation being accepted in a future rust store we usually see a spike in demand and spike in price for the pre-existing skins in the same collection does that make sense so like i said if we can try and identify all of them we can talk about them and we can question whether it is actually worth jumping into and making an investment sounds good i've got the intro out of the way let's get started and let's start talking about the likes of deplorables so this is going to be a different format for today all right and it very likely will be the same format from now on until we see less people producing skins. So we're only going to really look at the skins now if they're actual collection continuations. My apologies if you're a skin creator out there and we only look at the skin like this. But for all the people who are watching, you can look in the description. You can click the link to this collection and you can look at all the skins yourself. You can literally just click this and then you can look at all look at all the images yourself if you like it please consider voting yes or no if you really like it maybe even consider offering a nice comment if you'd like if you don't really like it why not also consider offering some nice uh, constructive feedback i think you could have made the wood look a little bit brighter or something don't be silly but actually put an effort in if you really like the style but you think it could be a fair bit better be nice straight to the point get your word out 
Maybe the skin isn't accepted, but in the future, they might consider making a version 2. They'll look at your feedback. They might incorporate it in, into the likes of a version 2 version. And then maybe that gets accepted and you help them out. So it's up to you. So, yeah, you understand the routine. And that right there was RAF's gun store vending machine. If you happen to like that, please consider voting yes or no. You know the routine, don't you? So... With that said, let's now start scrolling through the deplorables, and when we see a collection continuation, we'll start the proper rambling. Sounds good? So, as we just showcased this to you there, that was the gun store vending machine made by RAF. If you happen to like it, you know what to do. Moving on, we have a locker skin here. Two versions. We have Confusion's Wanted Frontier Locker. So, uh, ever since we've had the, um, the Frontier Base decor pack that came out earlier this month, we've been seeing a lot of western theme skins, haven't we? And, well, they did get accepted, so other skin creators have noticed, other skin creators have produced frontier theme skins, western theme skins, as you just saw right there. So, don't be surprised by this. If it's successful, other skin creators are going to try, aren't they? Now, if you happen to like what you see here with Confusion's work, please consider voting yes or no. Let's move on. Now we're moving on to rug skins. So, here we have Mad Polly with his uh, exposed stone rug. Let's get a quick look at this. Yep, 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 yep. Right, very goofy. <laughs> if you happen to like that, please consider voting yes or no. I should quickly show off uh, Confusion's locker. I didn't do that, sorry. So yeah, if you like that, you know what to do. Cool, sorry about that confusion. Right, scrolling down, we also have Spinoza's birch rug. Get a good look at this, looking very nice. But let's get an actual proper look at the rug right there. All right, very cool. Uh, let's get it in better lighting. That's probably the best we can do. So, yep, that is the birch rug. If you happen to like what you see there, please consider voting yes or no. Now we have a very straightforward, goofy rug made by Bastaz, the neutral face from the, emoji, the emotes that we have in the game. So if you like those emotes, maybe consider voting yes or no. Or maybe just be neutral and don't vote for anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bastaz. I was just, it's just a joke. Shut up. <laughs> Here we have Holodno's Comfort Plus rug. Let's get a good quick look at this. And yep, that looks very nice to walk onto. I hope. Hopefully, it's not like too hard. It might hurt your feet. But other than that, it's a very like straightforward rug. And you know what? Maybe people like like a maybe they prefer a much more grounded type of design. So if you happen to like what you see here, please consider voting yes or no. Moving on, we have SMN with uh, a Leonas rug. What's this all about? Oh, it's like vines. Oh, I see. So. You can like connect them up and you can pretend you have some vines all wrapped around your base. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. I think Face Punch should make some things like this, but like have it like a role player pack. There's like plenty of other stupid things they could produce, like um uh, like plant pots and like there's many goofy things, statues, I guess. And you know, you know how with the base decor pack, it was, you know, a fair few goofy things. Why not make it a little bit more role player oriented? You could probably set it for like ten dollars. If people like it, they'll buy it. If not, yeah. But yeah, you can understand what I mean. So pretty cool idea there, SMN. If you happen to like what you see there, please consider voting yes or no. And then what we have here is Alloy's Tomb of Enemies rug version 2. We saw this quite some time back. It's just quite literally a rug with skulls and there's lights to the side. How did the lights get there? I do not know. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. And then what do we have over to here? We have the Castle Wall rug made by La Cramp. Yep, so... Uh, with the likes of those torch holders coming out fairly recently, I thought something like this was going to get produced. Someone out there with the likes of this skin could produce their own special dungeon in-game. Wouldn't that look really cool? So, not surprised to see such a thing was produced. If you like the idea of that, please consider voting yes or no. Then over to here, we have the Thanksgiving turkey. Yep, we're moving on to furnaces now. This is the only Thanksgiving theme skin I saw this week. So, hey... If you're feeling festive, I guess you could say. I mean, other the Americans, but yeah. If you like turkey and, I mean, yeah, what else is there to say? It's a turkey furnace. <laughs> if you like that, vote right there. We also have the likes of GBG's Jet Exhaust Furnace. Get a good look at this. So it's just like a very straightforward stone furnace, it looks like. Quite literally made out of like stones and cement and whatnot. Ah, it's fine. If you like that, very grounded type of approach. You know what to do? Please consider voting yes or no. Now we have Epic's Lightning Rod Furnace. What's this? Um, <laughs> I like the effects. That looks cool. All right. So uh, what's the interior? Uh, can we get a better look at the interior? Looks like it's just plain normal. Okay, then that's fine. It's, it's up to him. But yeah, if you like what you see there, please consider voting yes or no. Next up, we have the Snow Zombie made by Quicker. Um, is that meant to say zombie? I think it's meant to say zombie. Or he just decided to call him Sompy. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. But yeah, if you like what you see here, if you think that looks pretty goofy, please consider voting yes or no. Now we have the anglerfish. What's with all the scary looking furnaces this week, guys? Oh, wow. Halloween's already happened, but at the end of the day, if you like that type of design, if you want to scare some people in your base, put that on at night and make them walk through the door, huh? <laughs> you can, you know, you can consider voting yes or no. So best of luck to you, Anna Femme. Again, another scary looking furnace. Look, it's a shark. It's just a scary. <laughs> Very nice red interior. Oh, maybe not for the person who gets swallowed, but cool looking design looking very nice looking very cool if you like the idea of a scary shark furnace please consider voting yes or no and now we've got our first collection continuation to talk about neon vibes furnace so let's get a proper look at this again my apologies to all the people who produce skins um but you might notice i'm going to give this a proper look like i said the main intention for this video is um the financial perspective because this is a continuation of the garage door that was accepted recently, we now have to make a we have to make a proper assumption whether we potentially might want to jump into investing into this. But one noticeable detail I've just noticed here is uh, it's got a very nice neon blue interior. And very, very, very recently, we had that Halloween skin accepted, which had the very nice glowy green interior. What are you talking about, Hedge? The main thing I'm trying to get across to all of you is. Um, there's a bit of a trend with certain furnace types where if they have a different coloured interior that isn't red, orange or yellow, they tend to do a lot better. They tend to be a little bit more expensive. So right here, we have like, oh, go away, go away, up, 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 up. toxic furnace right here, nice light green interior. Then you have the likes of the ghostly flame um, right here with the turquoisey green um, interior. Abyss furnace, bright and purple. And then down here a fair bit, you got tribe furnace with the light blue interior. Now, very, very, very recently, we did have the spider cocoon. It's gone down in price a fair bit. Don't worry, that's a routine thing that was expected to happen. From here and now, I wouldn't be surprised if it sits comfortably above its $2 rust ore price. That's going to have a pretty nice future ahead of it. But that was just talking about like the furnaces specifically. I need to talk properly about the garage door that was accepted somewhat recently. So, the Neon Vibes garage door, down by 10%. That's a little bit awkward, but if you looked at the buy orders, they don't really match up to the price it's sold for. Now, overall, this came out during the week where the rust door was only around for six days. This was a delayed rust door, so like I said, it was only around for six days. But then again, it still did like almost 16,000 bare minimum sales. But looking at it, still only 34 of them in the Steam market. That has a ridiculously low amount on the Steam market. On average, every rust skin should have about 100, so you can kind of understand that. Looking at this, next to no resistance, honestly... If we do see that um, furnace potentially being accepted, I can definitely see a nice impact happening onto the likes of this. I can see this easily pushing up to $4, like, as I said, next to no resistance right there. So I can see some nice things potentially happening on the horizon. Yeah, I could. So back over to here, looking at this Neon Vibes furnace. Not only is it a special furnace with, with a very cool looking interior, but yeah, I think it would be a perfectly fine thing to consider maybe grabbing a few of these. You could probably still grab them for fairly cheap. Like if you put down like a three dollar buy order, you pick up a few of them. And if this gets accepted, yes, that garage door is expected to go up in price quite nicely. But by default, all skins are expected to go up quite nicely as we reach around January time, post Christmas time. I've, you know, I've rambled about that more than enough. But when we get to around January, loads of people will be returning to play in the game. And with loads of people playing the game, Massive increase in demand for all skins, massive increase for all prices. It's not too hard to understand. So cool looking furnace, if you happen to like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Diaz. Alright, now we can scroll down a fair bit. Here we have Kazaru's Frontier Old Sleeping Bag. Like I said, many people are making some Western and um, Frontier themed skins. And you'll probably see a lot more in a second. But yeah, very nice quick look at, yeah, quick look at this. Cool looking straightforward design, nothing wrong with that. Like I said, a much more grounded approach does get appreciated. People out there do appreciate these types of designs. And if you're one of them, please consider voting yes or no. Next up we have Yeah with his contamination contamination bag. Come on, Hedge, you can speak words, can't you? <laughs> so yeah, that is a nice straightforward design. Doesn't glow in the dark. If you like it, please consider voting yes or no. Now what do we have there? Technically speaking, this is a loose continuation. So I might not give it too much time, but let's get a good look at this. So do you remember earlier this year we had that desert stone sleeping bag being accepted? And then after that we had the stone bag. It, it, it was awkward. Um, 
maybe I can go quite far back. Let's let's go this way. So if I go to Desert Stone, Desert Stone, no Desert Stone. Sorry, yeah, not Desert Scout, Desert Stone. Are we are we playing games? What's going on here? Desert Stone. You know what? They're sleeping bags are here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> I'm very sorry. There it is, Desert Stone. Why didn't it appear? Anyway, let's just go to the items details. So, uh, just to remind all of you, uh, this came out earlier this year, and there was another one. Oh, look, I'm one of the people with most of them. I bought it on a buy order, and it went down in price even further. Oh, good. But yeah, if I click Firefly here... Yeah, oh, wow, you've only had one skin accepted this year. There were more. There were more. But um, only that one was accepted. So, if we specifically look at this sleeping bag, look at it on the Steam market... I'm going to be brutally honest with you, whilst it is technically a collection, I'm not sure if this is going to go up in price if we happen to see another one being accepted for a different thing. Maybe, but then again, you know, we did have like, we did have the likes of the camouflage net collection, so, and you know, when one more was accepted, the previous ones went up in price, even though they're all for different biomes. Maybe, maybe, all right? If we do get like a full collection of them, that would be pretty cool, and I could imagine a lot of people would like appreciate this. So, yeah, and at the end of the day, that's a green sleeping bag that doesn't glow in the dark. A lot of people would appreciate that. A lot of people probably already have the summer pack and just use towels. Well, at least that's a much nicer looking green. So, hey, we've been seeing quite a lot of pay-to-win skins being accepted recently. If that gets accepted, I'm just going to shrug. <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised whatsoever. So, if you like the looks of that, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Farfly and Aneta. All right, so... With the likes of the uh, sleeping bag, more specifically, I've lost my tongue. Let me just take a real quick drink. With the likes of that sleeping bag right there, I could see it going up in price a fair bit. But I, I'll be honest with you, I think it'll be going up in price regardless with January just around the corner. So pick up a few if you'd like. They're only a dollar at the moment. Pick up a few, see what happens. But um, a full collection on the horizon, I think people would like that. So maybe we'll see the grass one being accepted maybe we'll have a snow one made after that there was also like i said just like a pure stone one which was supposed to be put on rocks but didn't get anywhere so best of luck to you firefly once again let's see what happens next let's just close this let's close that and let's go over to here because we have another collection continuation to talk about we have the hay sleeping bag so very 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 recently you can see it right there we had the likes of the small boxes being produced they didn't sell ridiculously and, well, <laughs> they haven't really gone down the price that much either. But if this, if this right here were to potentially be accepted, this is definitely going to have a very interesting future. So, let's just get a better look at this. Produced by Marcorn CD, as you can see, it's made out of hay, so that's not too hard to understand or comprehend, I hope. But yeah, November 2nd, if we just look at over here, here is the hay storage now, it hasn't really held up super good. It looks... Okay. So, when I looked at this a couple of days ago, it was actually doing a fair bit better. But it seems to crash a fair bit. But, looking at it right now, it's only a fair few listings and it's back up to about $2.50, the price it sold for. So, I'll be honest with you, I could see a nice posit like a positive impact on the likes of this if this were to be accepted. This would then lead to the idea of potentially seeing a brand new deplorable collection getting started. Now, I've said this many times over the past year. Oh, this could be the beginning of a brand new deplorable collection. This could be the beginning of a brand new deplorable collection. Yeah, I've said that multiple times this year and we didn't see it happen that much. So if you're not that confident hearing that, maybe you don't want to jump into this that much. At the end of the day, it only recently got accepted, so you can't really, Im you can't easily imagine what might happen next. But this was accepted before. Maybe we'll see the sleeping bag being accepted next. If you're confident in this, consider buying some. If you're not really, just avoid it. Like if you don't really want to spend that much money at the moment, then I can understand. I've spent a lot of money recently. <laughs> it's not fun towards the end of the year, but when we get to the very, very end of the year, post Christmas, sell everything, tons of profits. Very nice. So we still have to wait a little bit longer for that to happen. So yeah, if you like this, please consider voting yes or no. But in terms of investing into the small box, it's it's up to you. It's up to you. Right. Here we have some small boxes. We have the likes of the Burt storage right there. Get a good look at that. Yep, very nice. I'm not sure why everybody's suddenly making Burt skins, but here we are. <laughs> so yep, this is Maybe Kavahu. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. 
And then immediately, we have another collection continuation to talk about. Here's the Frog Box. So earlier this year, we've had the likes of Frog Rock. We had the likes of a Frog Furnace. We even had the likes of a Frog Bone Club. Yep, that happened. And now, we've got a Frog Small Box. I like the little hands. That's pretty cute. That's... <laughs> That's pretty cute. Right, so let's go take a look at the frog collection. Frog. And what do we see? Here we go. So, I was correct. I got all of them right. We got the likes of the furnace. We got the frog rock and the frog club. But like many skins at the moment, not doing the best. It's unfortunate. Give it another six or so weeks time. Maybe things will improve. Wouldn't be surprised if they do at least a fair bit. But... It's not doing super great, and it's going to need to climb up quite a lot for it to really get somewhere. Especially the likes of the Frog Furnace right here. $2.49, now it's 97 cents. That's not good. But if we were to see the likes of a new deplorable being accepted, ooh, gets you thinking, doesn't it? Gets you thinking what potentially might what might happen from here on now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I literally just mentioned it, and I guess I'll have to mention it again. If we see that being accepted, potential new collection, deplorable collection on the horizon. Wow. Well, um, <clears throat> it's up to you. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'd kind of like breathe some bad air there, but yeah, again, it's awkward. I'm fully like self-aware that I say it a lot, but it, it, it is a rule. If you see a whole bunch of deplorables being accepted, typically the first few that are accepted rise up in price the most. So that furnace right there could have a very interesting future if this were to be accepted. But maybe it might not even go up that much. Maybe it'll just go back up to its rustle price. At the end of the day. Right here, this skin it is currently selling for um, just under a dollar. Yep. And there's only 66 in the Steam market, and it doesn't have that much resistance. So if you're feeling confident we're going to see another frog skin being accepted, by all means, jump in, buy a few, and we'll see what happens next. But looking at its current state, I think I'm just going to avoid it. I don't think there's that much like demand for it at the moment. Um, there's more interesting rocks and uh, furnaces out there based on demand so i'm personally gonna leave it it's up to you what you do next but i'll point it out to you and if you like what you see here please consider voting yes or no best of luck to you mr ideal right now we've got some large boxes to talk about domcha with his uh version two of his koi pond so yeah koi pond large box get a quick look at that and then with the likes of the glow in the dark one which you can see right there very very nice if you like that Please consider voting yes or no. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the likes of the Scrap Largewood Box made by Anubis Dunk. Give you a good look at this. Yep, yep, yep. All your assorted bits and bobs. All on top of a small, uh, large box. Huh. I thought it was like filling it all the way up, but nope, it's on top. Then we have the Infection Largewood Box. Get a good look at this. So this is produced by Risato. Give it a nice look at that. Close the dark. Very cool. If you like that type of design, please consider voting yes or no. And now we're on to wooden doors, and immediately we have a collection continuation to talk about. What have we seen recently over the past two weeks? Frontier Rustic Doors. Like I said, ever since the beginning of the month, we had that Frontier Frontier Decor <coughs> Frontier Decor Pack. That was accepted. It came with the likes of barrels and torch holders. And, uh, well, somewhat recently, Mr. Morphus went ahead and produced the likes of a Frontier Rustic Sheet Metal Door. A frontier rustic garage door and now we have the wooden door and like the previous doors this door right here also has transparency yes if you were to look at it right here you can see right through it now this isn't actually that rare anymore for wooden doors there's a lot of wooden doors over the past year that had transparency in them so it again it's nice to see a continuation appearing but a wooden door doesn't like by itself doesn't really do that much unfortunately um what do you mean so like you know during a normal you know it, it, during the life of a normal server people are probably only going to use a wooden door for a fairly short amount of time now again if you're on different servers roleplay servers pv servers yeah you're going to probably use a wooden door a whole lot more but for a normal server you are very briefly going to use it and then suddenly you're instantly using sheet metal doors garage doors you name it so awkward but we're not here to talk about this specifically we're here to talk about the other doors so like i said we've recently had two doors in a row we've literally got the uh, garage door that came out the past week and not too long ago we had this uh, sheet metal door being accepted this sold for three dollars it's already sitting at four dollars eighty 
Now, this didn't sell that much. It came out during the week where we only had six days for that Rust Store because it was delayed Rust Store week. And honestly, looking at the both of these, with this now only just about surpassing this, it really doesn't look like there's much of these sold. And this is definitely something I've been talking about a lot recently. We're just not seeing that many uh, sales happening for all these skins coming out during November. So with the likes of this being accepted, I can see this going up in price. And I can also see this going up in price a fair bit. It's already quite high up already. Like, there's another thing I need to address with this. There's hardly any stock in the Steam market. For some strange reason, all of those skins that came out during this week, which was like two weeks ago, yeah, they, 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 they've all got incredibly low quantity. We just showed the Neon Garage Door a little bit earlier, didn't we? And that had only like 30-something. This is like very similar. So I'll be honest with you, this is already kind of expensive. So if that sounds a little bit awkward to you, maybe avoid the Sheep Manor Door. But the Garage Door, well, like I said, it's currently in the Rust Door right now. And it hasn't sold that much. So if you made a few extra purchases, ooh, um, hey, it's looking pretty optimistic. And this is the cheapest C3 Mesh Garage Door currently available to everybody. So it's something for you to consider, um, and with the amount of sales it's had, I can't really see it struggling that much. Unless we keep seeing more and more and more and more garage doors with see-through mesh. I don't think we're going to be seeing that too much, but don't be surprised if it probably happens eventually. I mean, we've still got 2024 to go through, so... <laughs> so yes, things do look quite optimistic if we keep seeing more and more of these doors being produced and accepted. I just wouldn't be surprised if Morpheus probably takes a break soon, or maybe he considers making some double doors, or even an armoured door. An armoured door would be greatly appreciated, so pretty cool stuff. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no, and best of luck to you, Mr Morpheus. Now we can scroll down just a little bit, look at the likes of this neon mushroom sheet metal door, get a good look at this, very nice and neon, straightforward. People do appreciate a straightforward neon design, I've talked about this recently as well, especially the likes of garage doors, so if you like that, Please consider voting yes or no. And moving on, we've immediately got another continuation to talk about. Yeah, we don't stop. Now, I actually already made a video vaguely talking about the Sheep Manor Door, um, but mainly about the Pirate Collection. That was produced earlier. So, yeah, the Pirate Collection Part 6 pre-Christmas review. Guys, honestly, if you want to be informed about the Pirate Collection, just go watch that video. You've got 20 minutes of wonderful goodness in there. All right? So... I will still talk a fair bit, but if you want to go a little bit more in depth about that whole collection, consider watching this video right here, because um, I'm pretty positive in this collection. So, this isn't the first deplorable to be produced for this collection. We recently saw the likes of the Pirate Flag Rug. Unfortunately, that wasn't accepted. It would have been a great addition, but anyway, this is the non-glow version. This is the version that does glow in the dark. Get a good look at that. So, yep. Yeah. Only a faint glow, and people do appreciate that type of glow, so yeah, as you can clearly see, it's not super noticeable. Right, let's go talk about the Pirate Collection. I'm very much looking forward to this. So, that potentially, that Sheep Manor Door could potentially be the first deplorable skin to be accepted for this whole collection, which would be very nicely appreciated, I'm sure. But, if you're wondering, hmm, could I jump in and invest into this collection? Yes, you could. Like two months ago, there was tons of these pirate skins on the Steam market. Technically speaking, there's still quite a lot. Like if I were to show you, um, uh, let's just click this. Let's just go here. Let's go to the Steam market this way. Come on, load up. Don't be shy. So pirate road sign gloves. Right now there's 220 quantity on the Steam market. And you might say, oh, that's too much. I'll sit here and say this sold like 50,000 quantity. In Like that's how much was bought. That's a ridiculous amount. By default, a lot of people instantly think, oh, that's oversaturated. Well, guess what? This is so in demand that it's managed to retain its price for basically the past few months now. And this hasn't peaked yet. That's still expected to rise up in price ever so nicely over the course of the next six weeks into January. The whole collection is like this. They held up strong. People appreciate them. And when more people return to play the game, even more people will be appreciating them, if that makes sense. So that's just representative of all the pirate skins. Mainly the core pieces. The primitive stuff's still very good. Like The primitive stuff has a full collection there. So that's another thing to consider putting your money towards. But would there be a nice massive impact on the likes of the Sheep Nador being accepted for the whole collection? I'll be brutally honest. I'll be... Sorry. I'll be brutally honest with you, I don't think the Sheep Manor Door is going to magically cause all of the skins to go up in price. By default, they're already expected to have a very nice time around January. So, in short, 
consider investing into the pirate collection. It's looking pretty good. Now, if you invested into this two months ago, like I initially mentioned, um, that was pirate collection part five. But yeah, that was a video I made. I said, guys, looking at all of this during the bad times, all of these skins still managed to retain most of their value. Two months later, most of it's in the green. And that's all the better for this. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. In two months' time, all of it's in the green. Because you can see a few of these are in the red. But that's just for now. Give it time, it will cook, and great things will happen. I've got quite a lot of these skins. I bought many of them with a cheaper buy order because I could expect them to go down in price a fair bit. And uh, just envision this. Around January, loads of people are going to try and want to uh, get a full blackout collection, aren't they? But it's too expensive. But this right here, budget blackout. And a lot of people will be appreciating it for that. So, in short, very nice collection. If you like this door, either version, please consider voting yes or no for them. Best of luck to you, one on JM34633. And let's move on. <laughs> we got the safest garage door right here. So, we're going to get a look at this. Yep, very nice. Straightforward design. If you like that, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, sad, happy. Then we have the Exorcism Garage Door. This comes in two versions, normal and glow in the dark. So, yeah, oh, well, that's something. <laughs> that is something. That's a strange bit of art. But, hey, if you like that, please consider voting yes or no. And this is the glowing version. Get a good look at that. So, if you're a fan of that, like I said, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Mr. Wet QA. Next up, we have the Game Lover Garage Door. This is made by Eros. Very nice, straightforward. Like I said earlier... People do appreciate a straightforward neon design. Sorry for scratching my head. Something, something landed in my head or something. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> yeah, so if you happen to like that design, please consider voting yes or no for Eros' Game Lover Garage Door. And what do we have right here? Another continuation. So, yes, get a good look at this. Mr. Shino, what have you got and produced? Well, very, very recently, Shino got his uh, grass rug being accepted. And that held up. We'll take a look at that in a second. So he's thought to himself, what other deplorable could I make? Oh, a garage door. And, uh, well, that looks pretty nice. So, yeah, it's like one of those um, hanging vines that you put along your wall. You can see all like, the wood um, holders. I don't know the words for them. My apologies. But, you know, the supports, the thing holding it up. So that's a clever looking design. And I think people will be appreciating that, especially when you like pair it up with the rug and whatnot. So let's now go talk about that grass rug. Let's go take a look at all the rugs first, just to get this across, because many rugs are accepted this year, but if you look at all of them, only one of them's holding up their value, the grass rug. Get a good look at that. So that did about 30,000 average sales, uh, bare minimum sales, sorry, bare minimum. And uh, yeah, it's comfortably in the positive, no issues, 83 on the Steam market, which is fine. Like I said, on average, every single rug skin on the Steam market has about 100 quantity. This has less. You look at the resistance. Well, there's a, there is an 11 here. But other than that, it's just ones, basically. That could easily push all the way up to $5. So let's just think about this then. Hmm. There's potentially a new deplorable on the horizon. I wonder what happens if this gets accepted. Hmm. This is a deplorable that already exists in said collection. Hmm. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Yeah, this could potentially turn into a deplorable collection. Ooh, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that will go up in price very nicely if that garage door were to be accepted. So yes, that right there is definitely looking to be a very nice potential investment if, if, if this garage door is accepted. We've had quite a lot of garage doors accepted this year. In theory, you might think, but that means we'll get a whole lot more, surely. Uh, <laughs> who knows, all right? But... I've pointed out the words to you. I've made it clear. If this were to be accepted, this will very much likely be going up in price. And by default, it will be anyway. By default, this is still looking to be a perfectly fine investment. It's still cheaper compared to the likes of the camouflage net. And uh, how much is that camouflage net selling for right now? $6. So, yeah, people are going to be wanting that one instead of that one if they can't afford it. So, it's up to you. Choice is yours. But when you look at all the skins that came out this year and see only this one's holding up, you're pretty sure that's going to be doing pretty good over the course of the next two months anyway. So, like I said, it's up to you. I should also close that. And if you're a fan of this, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Shino. All right, let's scroll, let's scroll down a little bit. Here is, um, uh, for, I'm calling Phil today. Here's Phil's block traffic armored door. Yep. Get a good look at that. If you like what you see. Is this like a version 2? 
<laughs> oh no 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 because you had like a you had a sheet in the door and you had two versions and now here's the other door i get it now right so yeah i see i see so if you happen to like what you see here please consider voting yes or no scrolling down a little bit more Kavinci with his radium armor door get a good look at this a very straightforward design but people seem to appreciate that so what do you reckon will that work for you do you like it please consider voting yes or no and then we have another collection continuation to talk about mr duck at it again with another door what do we see right here well by default we can only see one image it's not super helpful to look at that but i'm pretty sure you're well aware of all the previous brutalist sheetman do <clears throat> brutalist doors that we've had very recently we've had the likes of the brutalist garage door that was accepted what do we see over here a whole bunch of transparency and seeing this surprise acceptance duck decided screw it i'll make a sheet in a door then and we'll see what happens it was accepted as well it was accepted as well <laughs> so yes this also has a whole bunch of transparency the first marketable sheet in a door transparency to be accepted ever so that was a big surprise for us and then recently, recently, he produced the double sheet metal door. Unfortunately, Face Punch aren't really super keen on double doors, so that hasn't been accepted yet. But who knows what might happen next. But I do have one image, thanks to Sloth in my server, he produced this. So yeah, um, we're mainly wanting to look at the armoured door, but you get a good look at that sheet metal double door there. That's a lot of stuff that you can see through there. Whoa, that's a lot. But anyway... Let's focus this. This right here is an armored door with a see-through hatch, and you can already see through the door as well. That's a that's a bit much. <laughs> so yeah, that's the armored door right there. That is looking pretty cool. But we we're here to talk about potentially investing into the pre-existing skins that came out. So hopping back over to here, we have the likes of the sheet metal door, brutalist sheet metal door right there. But I want to bring up both of the skins that already exist. So Brutalist garage door that went up in price when the sheet metal door was accepted. That was like it was like very noticeable. So just get a good look at this. The second of November, twenty twenty three. Right, remember that date. Look, let's look at its sales history and what do you see? Oh, look, it springs up when the sheet metal door was accepted. I wonder why. Because people now anticipate a full collection potentially on the horizon, and we keep seeing that producing more skins. So uh, things are still looking positive for that. So yeah look at this it was kind of trending down a fair bit sheet metal doors accepted shoots back up it basically doubled in price yeah it's trended downwards recently understandable but again january time it'll go back up again that is the expectation so let's just go take a proper look at this brutalist sheet uh, garage door and then the sheet metal door in a second there is 153 of these in the steam market looking at the resistance it's not too fat you got an eight there you got a seven there it's not like someone's put down like 55 or something so i could see this going back up in price up to around five and a half to six dollars at some point maybe wouldn't surprise me too much but if we do see another brutalist door being accepted whether it's the double sheet metal door or the armored door yes i can see this working out very nicely i can see the exact same thing i saw happen when the sheet metal door was accceded this went up in price ever so much because there's a spike in demand now if we go back over to here and look at the sheet metal door well it'd be nice if it appeared don't give me problems. Don't give me grief. Just work for me. Ah, there you go. Wonderful. Right. So this right here has managed to retain its value currently at $4 plus. Uh, sold for $4, by the way. But again, it's like the same amount of quantity. And you do have a 14 there and you do have an 11 there. But I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be honest with you. Another door gets accepted. That's part of the Brutalist collection. That's going up in price as well. We might potentially have a deplorable collection. I hate myself. I'm sorry, but you get the idea. You understand the situation. We already saw it happen with just the garage door. We're very likely going to see it happen with both doors now. If, if, if we see what, well, you know, more specifically the armored door, if we see this being accepted. But again, double sheet metal door might be happening as well. We don't, we don't know. But cool, 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 cool. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Mr. Duck. Right then, and the last deplorable skin to talk about is another collection continuation. It's a version 2. This right here is the Cargo Heli Armoured Double Door. Get a good look at this. Do you remember the Cargo Heli collection? Well, I'll show it to you in a second. So, yeah, clearly you can see it glows in the dark. And here is a much better look at various different lighting during the day, dusk, and nighttime. 
So that's cool. Let's now go ahead and look at all of the cargo heli skins because this right here has been around for a good few years. I think ever since 2019. Let's go see. And the answer is oh, 2020. Oh, I was a little bit off. Just, just you know, at the very beginning of 2020. Anyway, so we've got the likes of a small box. We've got a locker. We've got a large box. We've got a satchel. We have the uh, crossbow and the armored door. So we've got quite a lot of deplorables. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine if we saw a double armored door being accepted. I could see a bit of a demand spike for the likes of those deplorables. It would be nice. By default, like I said, I do think they're going to do a fair bit better when we re when we see a whole bunch of people returning to play during uh, during January. But yeah, no. Uh, this is already expensive, though. This is already a bit pricey. This probably will rise in price quite nicely. I could imagine the armor door would be doing all right. Yeah, I could anticipate some nice um, some nice things happening. But like at the end of the day, how many of you are even using double armored doors? <laughs> Role players, maybe. Uh, mm. So yeah, it's cool. It's nice. By default, new deplorable. But with the collection kind of being expensive at the moment, maybe it's not worth your time. Maybe it's a little bit out of hand. So I don't blame you. I can understand that perspective. And so with that, it's up to you. Do you have money? No? Well, probably just avoid it then. So yeah, cool, 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 cool. But at the end of the day, the main question would be, do you like it? Please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Mr. Vlack. And with that, people, that was the last deplorable skin. So, which of those skins was your favourite? Which of those skins potentially do you reckon has the best chance of being accepted? Feel free to comment below in the YouTube video. And uh, we're now going to go ahead and take a look at all of the weapons and tools. Now, you might have sat there and thought, Hedge, you're trying to be quicker, but it's been 40 minutes. Don't worry, I, we don't really have that much weapons and tools. We do have a lot of clothing and armor, though, so brace yourselves. Right, here we have two rocks. We have the likes of the amulet rock right here. Not too crazy in terms of its design, but maybe, just maybe, loads of people don't care too much for a crazy design. Maybe Smoothie has got it just right. And if you like that amulet rock, please consider voting yes or no. And what do we have over here? It's a rat rock. And technically speaking, yes, this is a collection continuation. Do you know of the Pet Rock collection? You might instantly notice he looks familiar. Yes, this is made by Kekka, who has produced the likes of the Capybara Rock and the Hamster Rock. If I were to show you this full collection, there's been many Pet Rocks that were produced, but only two of them have been accepted. Why did we never get Maxwell? I'll never know, and I am sad inside. But yes, we've had the likes of the rat, the pig, the bunny, the beaver, the cat, the budgie, the duck... Penguin, yeah. <laughs> I hope to see him around Christmas time again. Don't put a Santa hat on him, Keke. Put a Santa hat on him. Yes, there, there you go. Christmas is Christmas is solved. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Rat Rock. So, um, we had the likes of the Hamster Rock being accepted, and he looks very, very similar to it. And Hamster Rock's actually doing very nicely at the moment. In fact, why don't we show you all of the rocks that came out this year? Because there's no, like, pet rock collection that's noticed here. So you, we'll see both of them. All right, here you go. So we had six rocks being accepted this year, most of them being animal-themed. Only the rock from hell. Um, maybe he barks or something. Anyway, we had the frog rock, with the capybara rock, the hamster rock, the hermit crab rock, and the pug rock. Now, uh, the only skins that are te technically part of the uh, pet rock collection made by Keke are these two. This was made by Deal. I can't remember who made you this was also made by ideal so who made that again um it's not for us to worry about right now so anyway i'm gonna be brutally honest with you if we saw rat rock being accepted it's actually gonna cause problems for these two skins rather than give them a boost what do you mean hedge well <laughs> right now you could pick between owning a pug rock a crab rock a hamster rock a capybara rock or a frog rock they're not gonna help each other out if there's more of them Rather, they're competing with each other, if that makes sense to you. I know, it sounds incredibly stupid. I know. <laughs> so, if anything, if this guy appears, and he looks very similar to the hamster rock, yeah, no, he's going to probably take away some of the thunder from this rock. So, at the end of the day, no, it's not an investment. No, it's not. It's 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 an enemy. It's an enemy. So, if you like it, at the end of the day, if you like it, by all means, buy it. I mean... Um, if you like it, sorry, wrong type of video. Uh, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Keke. And uh, yeah, let's just move on. So here we have the Jade Sword made by Rob Star. He loves to make a savage sword, doesn't he? Well, he's pretty good at it, so I don't blame him for keep doing it. 
If you happen to like what he's produced here, please consider voting yes or no, and we'll move on, because immediately we have another collection continuation to talk about. I'm running out of breath, I'm running out of steam, so, oh wow, look at transparency right there. We got another Armageddon skin. So if you can remember, not too long ago, Oasis and Schumer, they made the likes of the AK-47 and the SAR, and well, now we got tools. Get a good look at that. And I must repeat, this doesn't glow in the dark. No glow? No glow, yeah. So whilst it looks like it glows, it doesn't actually glow. And if we look at the pickaxe right here, he just looks as, just as menacing. Very nice. Very cool. And uh, yeah, we've had a whole bunch of Armageddon skins somewhat recently. So let's now talk about more specifically the recent uh, skins we've seen. So over to here, Armageddon. Come on, here we go. Right, so we had two skin, Two skins! There, there was another Armageddon skin before. Right, two skins. Problem is, they only consist of weapons. And these, yeah, well, it's, these are just tools. When you have a collection that only consists of weapons and tools, it doesn't really work out very nicely. In the, so, like, there's some exceptions, but the exceptions, like, very nice, bright and shiny, and people, like, are heavily invested into them. People aren't very heavily invested into these. I'm not seeing a lot of demand. So, by default, if we were to see these being accepted... I can't imagine it's going to work out stupendously. I can't imagine it's going to magically cause both of these skins to rise up in price insanely. So I'm not going to be jumping into that. They look cool, and I will sit here and say, if you happen to like the both of the designs, please consider voting yes or no for Oasis and Schumer. But in terms of investment, I just don't see it. Also, I do believe the hatchet had a, a second version that didn't have transparency. Yeah, so not, not transparent and transparent. Whichever one's your favourite, consider voting yes or no. Right then, scrolling down, we have the likes of the Whale Eoka and the Killer Whale Eoka. I mean, you could have just... Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Like, um, technically speaking, you're only supposed to submit one skin a week. But if you want, you can add an alternate coloured version. But you just refer to it as the oh, like coloured version. He decided to give it like a proper name, the Killer Whale. But eh, it's fine, I guess. So yes, this was made by Fuff. If you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. Scrolling down a little bit more, Mr. Hesiam has returned with another Constructor skin. He's trying to get it to work in terms of um, getting his first ever acceptance and the first acceptance for his collection. But hasn't really got anywhere, unfortunately. But if you happen to like that set, please consider voting yes or no. Over to here, we have Papa Carl's Rich. Saps 70s or 70s sap I guess you could say aimed down the site what do you see it's a useful white tip and then if we go to the side again you can see it's a very nice retro color design much like the old cassettes that's nice so if you're a fan of that please consider voting yes or no and now we have a continuation to talk about there's a lot of them today aren't there I'm gonna lose my tongue oh no Oh no, it's the return of a redemption collection. Oh dear, oh no. Get a good look at the shine. So you know how literally just a few seconds ago when we were talking about the Armageddon collection, we said only a few collections out there uh, which only consists of weapons and tools tend to perform very nicely. Yeah, redemption collection. Even though we had the tier 3, before that the uh, weapons were doing very nicely beforehand. But yeah, aimed on the site, or what do you see? Useful red aim site. So yes, this is looking to be a very nice addition. And we haven't had a sap skin in quite a long time, have we? So maybe things are lining up perfectly for the likes of this. Let's go ahead and take a look at that redemption collection. Let's go see how it's currently holding up. Uh, we're just about six weeks, two months away until post-Christmas, and it's holding up okay. You might sit there and say, but Hitch, some of it's in the negative. Yeah, if that's it at its potential worst, I want to see what it looks like when it's at its best. Oh, yes. Think like that. Think positively. So with what we see here, Thompson's doing good, SAR's doing good, MP5's holding up, the bar's down by 22%, the AK's only down by 1%, Custom SMG and M249 are doing pretty bad, but then again, that's all based on gun demand. How often do people actually get hold of them and use the actual weapons? You understand the justification and wanting skins and whatnot, you get that. So, honestly, uh, my answer to you is, these are going to go up in price regardless. Like, um, when loads of people return to play the game, quite a lot of people, when they left, they just missed out on the likes of the weapon wrecks. And I've said this for both the Redemption Collection and the Chameleon Collection, People are going to want to flex, and they're going to need some skins they are going to be very nice to flex with. What's nice, bright, and shiny and looks quite cool? Hmm. What do you reckon? <laughs> Redemption and uh, Chameleon. Now, uh, we did see the likes of the Tier 3 being accepted. 
I do believe on the horizon we will be seeing a second attempt for the tier 2, and I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we'll see some hoodie and pants being produced, so Redemption Collection has a lot of interesting things on the horizon. We just have to wait and see what happens next, because Slanosta has taken a break quite recently from it, but that's fine. It's probably good for the collection as well. Don't want to keep seeing constant things being thrown at it. Face Punch will probably get annoyed with it a lot quicker. <laughs> but okay, with what we see here... The collection's holding up regardless. I don't think the sap's necessarily going to cause all of it to spike in demand, but I can only sit here and say the collection only grows stronger with more additions. More interest will build up. So it's nice to see it. And if you like it, please consider voting yes or no. It's up to you. But honestly, like I said, we haven't had a sap for a while, and I think that's perfectly timed. So best of luck, choose Lenosta. Let's now move on. Let's start talking about... Another collection continuation. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Right. We have... I'm not running out of breath, no. <laughs> quick, quick drink. So very recently, we just had this Fossil MP5 being accepted. But this was weird. So unfortunately, this came out during the week where we only had six days. It was, delay it was a delayed Rust store. So this skin was in a rust store that only existed for six days and we can take a look at it right over here because it was last week and the main point i'm trying to get across to all of you with this skin in particular is it only had 3200 bare minimum sales only 3267 individual people bought that skin how many did they buy each we don't fully know but that's still a ridiculously low amount of people isn't it so there's only so many of these in circulation and apparently Apparently, these are quite expensive now, mainly due to the fact that there wasn't that many listed and someone probably just bought out the stock to make it appear to be as if it was uh, expensive. So maybe there's a manipulation potentially in the horizon. Did someone buy out some stock? It looks like that did happen. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this is actually super in demand. I just think due to the sheer lack of sales, hardly anything's being put on the steam market. And therefore, uh, well, people don't it, well, people probably uh misguided into believing this is expensive this is in demand it's not it's not like today uh six sold that's not a lot that's not a lot so yeah uh my answer uh yeah i i just won't bother with uh, for prices like that in terms of availability and whatnot that's all you can get really if you look on third party sites you're probably not going to see that much difference either well, you can get some on skin put but uh, yeah i just avoid it like it would have been nice if you got some last week but now all that's available isn't worth the price so personally i would avoid it but at the end of the day do you like this uh, python design do you like what you see aim down the site it's just brown <laughs> it's just brown so yeah if you like this and you potentially think this might get accepted and we potentially might see some more skins for that collection well uh like i said i, I i'm not going to be jumping in on that mp5 it's too expensive best of luck to shaft and xenon please consider voting yes or no all right so, oh, okay moving on <laughs> Custom SMGs, Plasma SMG, yay, so this is made by Fresh, it's cool, do you like it, please consider voting yes or no, aim down the site, what do we see, uh, useful, cool looking red aims, uh, orangey red aim site, okay, <laughs> sorry, cool, we got two collection continuations right here, oh yeah, I'm definitely not going to be dead by the end of this, um, yes, we, we just keep seeing more and more. First up, we have the Suprematism Custom SMG. This is produced by the likes of Mr. JJ. Get a good look at this. So recently, recently, we saw the likes of the uh, AK-47 being accepted. JJ, if you're going to do a name down the site image, make sure you do it in better lighting, buddy. It's not super easy to see what that looks like. So anyway, you got the goofy looking design. Um... Art is in the eye of the beholder. Some bollocks, I don't know. Anyway, looking at the AK... <laughs> Suprematism AK-47 did not sell that much uh, it only did like 5,400 bare minimum sales so much like the uh, the MP5 that we just saw didn't sell that much big difference though is that this has already gone below a dollar yep so with the likes of the custom SMG Will this cause this to go up in price? Not really, no. no. This might get manipulated. There's only so many of these in circulation. It's not going to be too hard for people to pull that off, I think. But with the likes of a custom SMG, well, just a minute ago I showed you the whole Redemption collection and one of the early weapons skins that were in the negative was the uh, Redemption custom SMG. People don't seem to favour the custom SMG that much. 
low gun demand equals low demand to use skins equals low skin prices. Um, so by default, that's not going to look very good. And with the likes of this AK-47, which is already not doing super good, yeah, I don't imagine this custom SMG is going to do that much difference. But at the end of the day, if you like the design, if you like the collection, please consider voting yes or no for JJ's Suprematism Custom SMG. Then we have the Ink Dragon Custom SMG. So recently we just saw the likes of the, um, the pump shotgun uh, being in that rust door that only lasted for six days. Well, immediately we see a brand new skin for the collection. So now it's time to take a look at the other skins and make a, you know, make a suggestion in regards to how things might play out from here on now. So pretty cool looking aim sight there. Let's now hop over to here. Ink Dragon. <laughs> I believe we've only got the one. No, we've got two, don't we? No, it doesn't appear. Right, so scroll down over to here then. Here's the pump shotgun. And, well, we need to talk about what happens. So, again, part of this rust store, which was only around for six days, very low overall sales. Make a comparison to all the other pump shotguns. This had a ridiculous, ridiculously low amount compared to the likes of this, this, and somewhat this. So, anyway, point we're trying to get across is this skin right here didn't sell that much. There's only so much of it in circulation. There's only 13 of them in the Steam market. I will sit here and say, much like the uh, the MP5, with such a low amount of uh, sales, there's only these that are available. And, well, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's worth that price at the current moment. Like, I don't feel like everybody who bought these realizes or has the ability to be able to sell these at the moment um so i just don't think that's a price worth paying into to try and make a profit out of if that makes sense so personally i'm going to avoid it considering investing into this right now but at the very least if you like this design if you're a fan of it if you like the ink dragon collection by all means vote yes support mr Mano McMahon. but in terms of trying to invest into it the pump shot can only so sold so much and i'd just rather stay away from it so that's my decision. It's up to you what you do with your money. Uh, let's move on. So, Color Explosion MP5. Let's get a quick look at this. Very nice. Purpley design. Aim down the site. What do you see? You normal black aim site. So, uh, if you happen to like that, please consider voting yes or no for Sky Noises Color Explosion. Here we have the Crystal Tree MP5. Get a good look at that. Very nice design on the side. Aim down the site. Where is that? Normal black aim site. So, if you happen to be a fan of that, please consider voting yes or no for Sliff Keys Crystal Tree MP5. Sendox this week with his Brutalist MP5 gear a good look at that normally has a video but we can't really show that off because there's no video so aimed on the site whoa hang on a minute where's the uh, well he's got some transparency there Mr Sendox is trying to get his first ever uh, skin acceptance so if you like the fact that he had transparency on the top of the MP5 to show more uh, you know uh uh, point of view uh, uh, what's the word to say yeah, more view we'll just go with that uh, please consider voting yes or no best of luck to you Mr Sendox Milho Frito he's taking a break from the chameleon collection this week it seems so you got a very nice clean <laughs> no cleansed mp5 right there if you're a fan of that please consider voting yes or no and as you can see aimed on a site you useful red aim site so like I said if you're a fan of that please consider voting yes or no Moving on, we have a collection continuation to talk about. We have the Soulless Legion MP5, and it comes in two versions. So let's go find out what that second version is. So, yep, yeah, normal design for what we've seen for the other Soulless Legion skins. Very nice shiny gold. Uh, I don't know what these are. Uh, Mr. Verona, feel free to message me saying what these uh, little emblem things on the side are. But aim down the site, what do we see? Useful darkish yellow aim site. And what's carved here? What's different? I'm trying to get a good look at this because it says it's carved, but what exactly is different there? I do not know. Is it from the back? What if we aim down the site? What do we see? Uh, I can't see it. My apologies for not noticing it. Um, maybe someone in it could comment and say what was the difference. But we can talk about the Soulless Legion collection. So it only consists of weapons at the moment. And, uh, well, it's not really holding up at the moment either. So by default, Weapon only collection. I don't think the likes of the MP5 is going to magically cause these to go up and demand up in price. It's not going to happen. So, yeah, I'm going to avoid that. But at the end of the day, if you happen to like these uh, MP5 skins and uh, you'd like to see them potentially being accepted into the game, why not sh consider showing your support? Please consider voting yes or no for Mr. Verona's Soulless Legion MP5. Now we have Voodoo's Electropunk Thompson. Get a good look at that. Aim down the site. Or what do we see? A useful light blue tip 
So, if you happen to be a fan of that and you happen to like this design, please consider voting yes or no for the Electropunk Thompson made by Voodoo. Best of luck to you, sir. We have Trigger with his Tiger Stripes Thompson. Get a good look at that. Blech. Get, sorry. <clears throat> Get a good look at that. I've been talking non-stop for about an hour. My apologies. Yep, aim down the site. What do you see? A useful orange aim site right there. So, yep, if you're a fan of that, please consider voting yes or no. Sean Mick with another lattice skin. Here we have the Lattice Thompson. Get a good look at that. Aim down the site. Oh, what do we see? It is a normal looking... Yep, normal looking site. Oh, no, it's not normal. You've got like a very faint little bit of red right there with some yellow below. That's going to be very good for most environments. And if you're a fan of that and you like the design, please consider voting yes or no for the Lattice Thompson made by Sean Mick. Next up, Caglian with his hot dog shotgun. Get a good look at this. It comes in two versions. It's a water pipe. Yeah, it comes with mustard. <laughs> so uh, let's just see if we've got an aim down the site. Nope, so we don't have that. So that is the version 1. What's the version 2? Uh, I am not noticing that much of a difference with the version 2. Let me just make a quick comparison here. What's different? Oh, so this comes with a little sticker. This one doesn't. Uh, I see. So, yeah. If you would like to see a water pipe skin being accepted, which hasn't happened for about a year and a half now. Yes. Well, please consider voting yes or no for a hot dog shotgun. You, do you like hot dogs? <laughs> you, it's up to you. So yeah, please consider voting yes or no. Shitmon with a double barrel shotgun this week, the pressurizer. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. you got some very interesting looking pictures there, but I need to see aim down the site. Actually, no, it's pointless looking at aim down the site, isn't it? Because you can't really change the colour of the aim site. So at the end of the day, if you like what you see here and like the pictures they produced, please consider voting yes or no for Shedmon's Pressurizer, Pressurizer, Double Barrel Shotgun. Next up, we have Nolfat with his Gemstone Sars. Get a good look at these. So what do we see? It's a nice pinkish type of design right there. Aim down the site. What do we see? Not a single aim down the site image. You need to do that, Nolfat. It's the rules. You have to do a name site check. All right. There you go. You did it on one, but you should have done it on both. Um, looks like there isn't that much of a difference for a normal SAR. So, okay, maybe that's possible. But at the end of the day, if you happen to like either of those designs, please consider voting yes or no. Scrolling down, we have Chris with their Croc SAR. Get a good look at this. It is very goofy. Yes. Um, removing ammo might be pretty painful. But Chris... You also need to do a name down the site image. It's necessary for all weapon skins, uh, <clears throat> all gun skins at the very least. So if you happen to like the skin that they produce, please consider voting yes or no. Next up, we have two collection continuations to talk about. We have the likes of the Soli Tassar and the Ronin Sar. So first up, Soli Tassar, produced by Delarai, as you can see. We've had the likes of the revolver being accepted very recently. Uh, last week, we saw the likes of some tools being produced. But this week, we've got ourselves a SAR skin. Get a good look at that. And now we can start talking about the likes of the revolver, which is right here. Okay, so let's get this over with. This right here by itself, it's probably already in a very good position. Why is that? Well, revolvers by default are very, very, very nice investments. They, they, okay. We hardly ever see them being accepted. That's a positive, more for investors. But basically, they are somewhat high in demand. We don't get that many skins being accepted. And well, look at all of that. Look at all of that. Not a single one of them is in the negative. Nope. So, by default, that's already got a nice future ahead of it. By default, this only did 7,100 bare minimum sales because it's part of this Rust Store. The Rust Store that only was around for six days and all the skins had very low sales. So... I'd have thought, yeah, that's looking pretty good. However, however, what we have here is just a weapon, all right? And if the collection only consists of weapons, well, that revolver probably isn't going to budge that much. Not really, no. So, at the end of the day, by default, it's still a very nice skin to pick up. It, it probably won't go up in price insanely over the course of the next two months, but eh, I just don't think the SAR itself would really make that much of a difference. So, at the end of the day, if you do like the SAR yourself, please consider voting yes or no, but I can't imagine the revolver would change much it's just comfortably in its own like you know so it's, it's all by itself it's all happy so don't disturb it <laughs> right now we have the ronin sar so get a good look at this this is part of the uh, ronin collection well it could potentially be part of the ronin collection if it were to be accepted so yes we've had the likes of the tier 3 armor being accepted we had the likes of the tier 2 armor being accepted we had boots but uh we didn't get the hoodie and pants no we didn't get boots we got gloves sorry 
uh, brain. Sorry. So, <laughs> well, we could we could do some boots. Wait, did we get boots? No, 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 no. Okay, let's just go look at the Ronin collection. Let's just go remind ourselves because Hedge is having a stupid moment right now. There's definitely gloves. Yes, definitely gloves. Yes, no boots, no boots, no boots. But yeah, hoodie and pants weren't accepted, which is unfortunate. Right. Anyway, Sarskin. Would the likes of a Sarskin magically cause all of this to spike demand, spike in price? Well, I'll sit here and tell you, we literally just had the Ronin AK-47 being accepted. That didn't cause a spike in demand, spike in price. That didn't happen, no. So, no. no. <laughs> if the AK didn't do it, I can't imagine the Sars going to do it. By default, will these rise up in price over the course of the next two months? Yeah, I think they could have a nice time, but the main thing that would really cause it to have a nice spike in demand are the hoodie and pants, but we didn't get them, so truck uh well <laughs> what else is there to say i'm afraid um but at the end of the day if you like the design if you're a fan of it and in the site what do we have uh useful red oh and it's red <laughs> what else is it gonna be so yeah if you like what you see please consider voting yes or no best of luck to you bear trip and hulk and uh yeah it's up to you so cool 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 let's now start talking about ak-47s first up we have the fractal ak's made by lysaint get a good look at this aim down the sight where are they aim down the sight there we are is it just a normal black tip yep yep yes it, yes it is so that's the version one here's the version two with the nice purpley amethyst type of style and uh, aimed on the site what do we see is it purple it is not it's just a normal black aim site so if you're a fan of that please consider voting yes or no best of luck to you mr lysane let's scroll down let's just grab a whole bunch of these ak-47s all right so let's jump in here we have the monstera ak-47 produced by sun art usually if you scroll down you notice a lot of these artists have a nice gif showcasing the development of their skin looking pretty nice there sun art and here's the skin well, are you a fan do you like it aim down a site where's the aim down a site image we don't have a proper one uh oh but looking at this it looks like this has just normal black aim sight so if you're a fan of this please consider voting for sun arts monstera ak-47 next up over here we have mr jiba with his origami ak-47 look at the side of that looks pretty cool um yeah it's origami yeah i was looking at it thinking is that proper origami yeah it is it's fine so aim down the site what do we see here we are the man did it nice blue aim sight so we'll do is get a proper look at your side image now so yes if you happen to be a fan of this please consider voting yes or no for jiba's origami ak-47 best of luck to you sir now we have the arctic special op ar version 2 made by mr ghost you might know uh know of his fairly recent skin that was accepted but he didn't get any money for he made the charitable rust ak-47 were you a fan of that did you buy that and props to you for uh putting money towards the likes of uh um some uh, the skin that was for charity and whatnot well mr ghost is still trying to get his first proper skin to be accepted in a rust store and potentially this could be the one so yeah if you like what you see here please consider voting yes or no for the arctic special op ak-47 wow then we have the ninja ak-47 version 2 so we saw this last week and i'm not sure what went wrong uh, these guys felt the need to instantly produce a version 2 so i'm i'm not fully sure what they changed but it looks like you know aimed on a site what do we see the cool looking eyes are still there but the aim site well it's got a, like a faintly grayish whitish aim sight there now and um, i don't really notice that much of a difference but at the end of the day it's a cool looking ak with the <laughs> the little eyes peeping out so if you're a fan of that please consider voting yes or no for mishka and sponsors ninja ak-47 version 2 and now we can talk about continuations here we have the pixel decay ak-47 made by mcquery bit of a problem though because if you were to go to the current rust store the most recent pixel decay skin is right there now this is very weird because this was picked out out of all the potential skins face punch decided to pick this one out when it was submitted well over a year ago I don't know why it was uh, accepted. It was a big surprise to everybody. But, okay. Clearly you can see we only have one weapon skin. And this right here is another weapon skin. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the case of, in terms of investment, if it only consists of weapons, I don't get the feeling it's going to work out very well. Not Yeah, we're not going to be making any big fat profits. So, yeah, if you like it, by all means, at the end of the day, consider voting yes or no. That seems to have a very vaguely dark blue aim sight rare. I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> you should have just made it a different colour. It still looks kind of black, to be honest. Uh, am I colour blind? Consider looking at that yourself. So, yeah, cool. 
It's nice to see more being produced. I don't blame you, McQuarrie. But in terms of is there a potential investment? Well, this hasn't sold that much. It doesn't really have that much demand. So I'll be honest with you, I can't imagine it's going to be working out super great. So at the end of the day, if you like this design, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, sir. Let's move on. And well, this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit different. See, what you happen to be looking at is the Abyss AK-47, which is part of the well-established Abyss collection. Oh, let's get a good look at that. Because over the course of this year, we have been seeing mm, just more and more and more and more acceptances. Very recently, we had the sleeping bag being accepted, didn't we? Part of a well-established deportable collection. But no, not only do we have that, we have the... Armour and clothing all here. Yes, all the core pieces are right here. This is a very, very nice collection that is in demand and the skins have been holding up ever so nicely. Over the course of the next two months, I would be surprised if every single skin right here is in the positive at some point. So you're going to sit there and ask, Hedge, what happens if we get an AK-47 being accepted? By default, I will sit here and say, I don't imagine it's going to cause all of these to spike up in price, like spike up in demand and price, but it's definitely better for it. To see this collection starting to get weapons as well, that's very nice. If you see a collection like that happening, then yeah, the future for it's going to probably end up being very, very nice. So um, the question you're going to ask is, all right, so do I invest in, into these or not? To be honest with you, it's a fairly, you know, it's a fair bit expensive. If you look at the likes of the clothing, for example, they've already gone up in price a fair bit and mm, they haven't really moved that much recently. You could consider to go jumping into this, but I look at these like by default, like by default, will these rise up in price around January time? I can see it happening, but will there be a massive impact that this was to be accepted? I don't think so. So will we see more skins being produced and accepted down the line? I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. No. So if this is if this is the beginning of Abyss getting a whole bunch of weapons, then mm, yeah, I can see it working out as a whole. A whole as in the whole collection. So at the end of the day, if you like what you see here, please consider voting yes or no for Little Ranger and Graham Crowen's AK-47 one quick more one extra look at that it's in your hands now what are you going to do are you going to vote yes or no the choice is yours don't forget also consider voting yes or no for all the other ak's including the pixel k ak-47 right and then we have the sea of the dead l96 this is produced by novarom get a good look at this very nice oh very nice looking picture right there really properly showcasing that uh there's no point like looking at it you know with the aim site because it doesn't have a differently uh, different color aim site but that's a nice image to look at right there cool 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 if you're a fan of that and you'd like to see more l96 skins being accepted please consider voting yes or no for nova roms sea of the dead l96 and with that that was all the weapons and tools which one of those skins do you reckon has the best chance of potentially being accepted which one was your favorite feel free to comment below right so we're pushing up to about an hour and 10 minutes imagine if i looked at every single skin stared at it like I normally would. <laughs> this would have easily been a two-hour video. And yet we still have a lot more, don't we? So, yeah, it's time to start talking about all the collection continuations in the clothing and armour. Yay! Oh, God, here we go. Brace yourselves, I'm going in. All right, first up, we have a collection continuation to talk about. We have the Arctic Protection Boots. Very nice to see, very cool. Um, I'll be honest with you, it would be a nice instant, like, okay, so if you take a look at this Art of Protection collection, when it appears, it's not called Art of Protection collection, it's just called Art of Collection in-game. We only really have primitive skins at the moment, so to see these boots being produced, like, by themselves, it's a bit awkward. Like, I would have done it, I would have paired it with the bandana. I'm not sure why he paired bandana with jacket. That was a bit weird, but hey... If any of these were to be accepted, yes, I could see a nice spike in demand, spike in price for these skins. But by default, this is doing nice by itself anyways. We did not see any other burlap shirt and pants being accepted this year other than these. And we're very likely not going to be seeing any burlap shoes for a long time. Same with the likes of the burlap head wrap. So overall, this is going to have some very nice steady increasing in price regardless. Why? Very useful early game um, clothing to somewhat camouflage you in the likes of the snowy areas it does a very good job of it by the way um so yeah there will be a nice increase in demand for this it would be a nice investment you can jump into this now if you'd like if we were to see boots being accepted well i i could see a bit of a spike in demand in it i wouldn't be surprised if it does i just don't think it would like i just can't imagine it would be <laughs> okay uh 
see, like boots are nice, but like that's normally going to be paired with the likes of, um, well, you know, pants and hoodies and whatnot. But uh, hey, I mean, maybe you get you got you got boots and you'd rather wear them than those uh, burlap shoes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, okay, that that would be fine. That'd be fine. So yeah, I could see a bit of a spike in demand for these if this were to be accepted. A new skin for this collection, all the better for it. And uh, it gets a lot of people looking at the collection as well. So, yes, yes, I could imagine this working out well. But by default, this is going to have a nice future ahead of it anyway. So, cool. For your consideration, the choice is yours. Do you like what you see? Please consider voting yes or no for the Arctic Boots produced by Demon. Talking about primitive skins, we've got bananas. Yes, we've got banana skin. Good, good. Look at that. Yes. Don't you just want to be yellow? You you need to be yellow. Look at that. You're, you're so happy that you're yellow now, aren't you? <laughs> Look. <laughs> it's kind of funny come on right so this is produced by Debski and PYH gear a good look at that very nice very cool didn't you dream of being a banana right anyway let's go take a look at the banana collection so we did have the likes of um was it tier two? Oh god it's quite a while now isn't it banana banana collection right here yes we had tier two and unfortunately we didn't see the likes of tier three or hoodie and pants being accepted I know awkward I get it um, if we did see that happening, um, yeah, maybe all of this would have worked out a whole lot better. But at the, end the, the, at the end of the day, it didn't happen. Now, there's a problem with this collection. I'll just quickly explain this again. You cannot you cannot search for these skins unless you specifically search for their names. What do you mean by that, Hedge? Well, if I were to type in like LR in the uh, in the Steam market, okay. So I'll show you this real quickly. If I go over to here and I'll type in LR, I'll see many other skins with LR in the, in the name, but I won't ever see this. And this is one of the problems with this collection. So I'll type in LR, and you will see a whole bunch of other skins with LR in the name, but you will not see the LR Nana, because the full name is LR Nana. So this applies to the likes of the Thompson Nana, the... I'm not going to go for all of them, you can see them all here. But like, you cannot easily search for these. And speaking to my chat about this we agree that that's probably half the reason why they're not doing so well because it's just not easy to notice that these exist <laughs> i know it's stupid but that happened so that was awkward isn't it oh well so okay if we were to see banana poncho and bandana being accepted could these have a bit of a spike in mind spike price maybe i, I kind of could see that happening for some of them but like i just yeah, it's just in an awkward position at the moment. I, I'll be honest with you. If it's awkward, I just wouldn't bother. All right? I just wouldn't bother if it's awkward. Okay? So maybe we see a bunch of these getting picked up in January. We'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, by itself, this is cool. It's silly. It's goofy. Maybe it'll do all right by itself. Sure. But I'm not sure if it's going to help out all the other skins that already exist. So we'll leave it. We'll move on. So let's get a good look at some of these jacket skins that we have here. This one comes with a hood. And let's go take a look at this. So this is produced by Silly Barurik. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool. That's looking pretty sinister. All right. So this is the Vagabond's hoodie. <clears throat> Vagabond's hood, which is actually a deer skull mask, and the jacket. So if you like the style, if you think that looks pretty cool and you'd like to see it potentially being accepted, please consider voting yes or no. Next up, we have Kosem's Frontier jacket. I told you you'd see a whole bunch of Frontier stuff. So yeah, that's got a pretty cool looking star to it. Look at that. Look at that. Looking very nice. Pairing up ever so nicely with the likes of the Sheriff's uh, hoodie and pants there. So if you're a fan of that, if you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no for Cosim's Frontier Jacket. Unchained Jacket produced by Vase. Let's get a good look at this. It's like chain mail. Looking pretty nice there. Um, on the back, you see some of the padding. So... That's pretty neat. If you like that, well, please consider voting yes or no for Vase Unchained Jacket. Moving on, we have the likes of some hoodie and pants to take a look at. First up, we have the Damascus Hoodie and Pants version 2. I mean, it's all there. That's the only image that we're going to get. So if you like the look of that, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Multi R Hat Boris and Marco. Scrolling down, we have the likes of the Boy Scout Hoodie and Pants. Geared to good look at this. Yep, 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 yep. Um... Yeah, that's pretty perfect, isn't it? <laughs> so this is produced by Mr. W-A-G-A-N. If you like what you see here, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, sir. 
Then we have a version 2 of Sir Q's Bush Camo Burlap Shirt and Pants. Oh no, I've got that mixed up with the uh, thingy. Right, I'll correct that later on. I missed... Oh, damn, I thought it was Hoodie and Pants. I had a stupid hedge moment. I will correct that. So by the time you're watching this video, this will be corrected. This will be higher up, up with the uh, other primitive stuff. So my apologies about that. But anyway, let's go give this a quick look. So, ha, huh, hmm. I wonder how you might want to utilize this when you wear it. Hmm. So, um, yeah, pretty cool looking design there. And if you like what you see there, if you want to go hide in some bushes, please consider voting yes or no for Sir Q's Bush Camo Burlap Shirt and Pants. Next up, we have Doc Schneider and Zet Skipper's Mantis hoodie and pants. Get a good look at that. I like the little picture here with the with the face in the back. But if you look at this properly, you'll see that it's like the the hood is the face, and you know got the wings all there and whatnot. Pretty cool looking design. I'll give it that. And who could say no to some more green clothing and armor? Ooh. So if you like what you see there, please consider voting yes or no. Scrolling down, we have some continuations to talk about. Now, you might not instantly be aware of this, but this is actually connected to the Windwalker Saw that was accepted earlier this year. See, that was produced by Marduk, SMKSS, and IGWT Menace. And basically, when that Saw was accepted, uh, Face Punch changed it to Windwalker. Maybe calling it Apache's not allowed. Uh, I won't question it. But yeah. So the workshop skins are called Apache. But it, this would be changed to Windwalker. And pretty cool looking design. I'll give it that. Guys, you made a very cool looking skin. If that hoodie and pants isn't accepted, consider making like ponchos and primitive skins like uh, hide stuff. I think you could make some very cool looking things of hide with the likes of this. I think it'll probably fit a whole lot better, because, like, with that on a hoodie, eh, but, like, on hide ponchos, like the hide shirt and the pet, Yeah. Consider that. That would actually look really cool. But we now need to talk about... Okay, so if that were to be accepted, would the Windwalker um, SAR go up in price? Let's go find out how that's currently holding up. And the price it's selling for is uh, 80 cents. Oh, and I own most of them. Typical. Right, well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, that's not doing too good. That is very, 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 very awkward. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not the best, is it? So, uh, what do we see here? That is a SAR skin that's selling below a dollar. So people are probably just turning these into metal to try and get a profit out of that. Which is not the best for a skin, I'll tell you. So, um, with what we see here, if we were to see hoodie and pants being accepted, would people instantly remember and jump in and buy this? I don't know. I don't know if people can instantly remember this skin. I, we've had many interesting SAR skins come out this year, and I don't think people are going to instantly remember that. So I can't imagine it's going to instantly go up in price. We shall see, but it's got like hardly any in the Steam market. Not much resistance. I just don't think there's that much to it, so I'll probably just avoid it. But at the end of the day, if you like this design for the hoodie and pants, please consider voting yes or no for these guys' skin. Right, so I, I didn't want to say all the names all over again. Ah, oh, go on then. Marduk, SMKSS, and IGWT Menace. There you go. That was quick. I, didn't, I thought it takes too long. You're wasting time doing this. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Gilly Hoodie and Pants. So, yes, we've got a version 2. We, quite a while back, had a jacket skin accepted, didn't we? And, I'll be honest with you, that hasn't actually suffered that much. See, oh, sorry. Uh, um, see, initially, right, initially, it did go down in price a fair bit. It didn't go down ridiculously, but... Let me just show you. Let me just show you. So this is now selling for $4.40. Sold for $3.50 in the Rust store. Sold a lot. How much did it sell again? It sold 37,000 bare minimum almost. So looking at this, and then you look at this, yeah, that'll blend in very nicely. Very nice camouflage, potentially. Now, what we mainly need to look at is the resistance. You've got 10 there, then you've got 35 down there. Bit awkward. You should also take into the, uh, consideration, this is selling for four and a half dollars. Do you have a lot of money? No? Well, I just wouldn't even bother. So with this already fairly being a bit pricey, yeah, it's a bit awkward. So maybe you don't really want to get involved in the likes of this. But if you scroll down and look at its history, yeah, you can see how initially it was doing very nice. We initially saw the likes of Hoodie and Pants being produced and loads of people were very, very, very strongly anticipating the arrival of Hoodie and Pants potentially appearing. Didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't do well, unfortunately. But then, you know, like most skins, once you got to around the uh, beginning of October, all skins started to rise back up in price. Now, ever since then, it's been somewhat steady. It's not really going up in price that much. It's not really going down in price that much. But over the course of the next few weeks, I do expect it to start rising by the time we get to January. So... If we were to see the hoodie and pants being accepted, yes, 100%, that jacket will be spiking in demand, spiking price. It will be very, very nice. But it's up to you. 
Do you like what you see here? Are you a fan? Please consider voting yes or no for Cubist and Alma Tat Emma's Gilly hoodie and pants. Very nice. Very cool. Let's move on. We have Special Camel work Special Camo Work Boots and Leather Gloves produced by Viduka. Let's get a good look at this. Very nice. Very cool. And then we've got the uh, leather gloves. Yes, get a good look at that. If you're a fan of this and you like what you see, please consider voting yes or no. Next up, we have a continuation to talk about, and it's connected to the skins that are already in the Rust store. So, get a good look at these booties. Nice and Western themed. Along with the likes of the Banditos hoodie and pants that were literally just accepted this past week. That blends in very nicely. That's actually a very nice continuation right there. So we were awkwardly assuming we might get like tier 2 or tier 3 armor and we're just kind of thinking to ourselves, is that going to really work out well? Well, instead they did leather gloves and boots and that has done a very good job like following up from that, that hoodie and pants. So that looks nice. The gloves do look good. I will give it that. That's a very nice touch. Problem. Um, with the likes of uh, leather gloves, we haven't had any accepted since 2021. Like, ever since roadside gloves became skinnable, leather gloves kind of got, like, phased out. I'm not sure why, but literally when they came out, we didn't see any more being accepted. We have a lot of them, but yeah. So we'll see what happens to the likes of those leather gloves if we do see more of them being accepted. Maybe it's just the boots, maybe it's both, we'll just see. But yeah, we already have the likes of the hoodie and pants right here. And at the moment, 8,300 bare minimum sales for the hoodie, 8,200-ish bare minimum sales for the pants. It's all right, it's all right. So if you're feeling confident, if you think we're definitely going to see these boots and gloves being accepted, well, consider jumping into it. It's a bit questionable, and I think I might just stick with the likes of doing a barger in these at the moment. But who knows what might happen next. And with all the Western and Frontier theme skins being accepted recently, maybe you might feel a little bit more confident in that now. So the choice is yours. It's up to you. And here we have an interesting continuation right here. It's the Sand Rhino Tier 2 armor. Get a good look at this. So we were very optimistic to see a whole lot more Sand Rhino skins being accepted, but unfortunately it hasn't happened. We haven't seen it with the likes of the boot, uh, with the hoodie in the pants and uh, the Tier 2. So here we have the version 2 for the Tier 2. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the Sand Rhino collection, because by default, Sand Rhino Tier 3 has done very nicely. It had a lot of support, it held up strong, and currently right now, both the skins are doing pretty good. So let's just quickly explain this whole situation. Now, half the reason why we could see this working out very nicely is because of Desert Raiders. Desert Raiders is expensive. San Rhino isn't that expensive. If you were to take a look at Desert Raiders... Uh, tier 3 armor, you instantly realize what I'm talking about. See, that together costs $46. Do you have $46 spare to buy two skins in a game? Probably not, no. So now you can understand. And well, the colors of the likes of San Rhino blends in perfectly with Desert Raiders. So yeah, that's been doing all right by itself regardless. But at the end of the day, if a new core piece is to be accepted, you know damn well that's going to have a nice spike in demand, spike in price, for sure, for sure. So yes, it might be close to $4 now, and this might be just barely over $3 right now, but if we do see Tier 2 armor being accepted, or hoodie and pants, yes, yes, that's going to spike in demand, spike in price, and it's going to be ever so nice. Like, we recently, very recently, got the likes of the Tier 2 armor accepted for hard suit, and yes, the hard suit skins that already existed did spike in demand. They did go up in price. It didn't last very long, unfortunately, but it did happen. In fact, they're still doing better than what they were doing a week ago, so yeah, and that came out of nowhere, that did. So yeah, things are looking very good for the likes of San Rhino, if we see it being accepted. That's a version 2. So we've already gone through this process before. Unfortunately, it wasn't accepted the first time round. Could it potentially be accepted the second? It's up to you. It's in your hands. Please consider voting yes or no if you happen to like what you see. And you had to vote yes or no on all of them. <laughs> all three pieces. All right, let's just close all of this. So yes, optimistic with these skins. And now we're down to tier 3 armor. We have a lot of tier 3 armor to showcase. Here is the almighty tier 3 made by Algorithm. Get a good look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. And here we have the likes of the uh, chest plate. I mean, we already saw it. So if you're a fan of the Autumn Almighty Tier 3 set, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Algorithm. Then we have the Pearlescent Tier 3. Get a good look at this. Very nice and 
per lesson, I guess you could say. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, very nice. Cool looking design. If you happen to like it, please consider voting yes or no. That is produced by Ariata. And like I said, if you're a fan, you know what to do. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the Dragon Defense Tier 3 armor. Get a good look at this. So, yep, yeah, very nice. Not too crazy in terms of its design, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure a lot of people could appreciate that. It doesn't have to be super wacky. It doesn't have to be super colorful. Some people just prefer a nice grounded approach. So, Hashaki, best of luck to you. If you like what you see, people, please consider voting yes or no. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the Clay Soldier face mask and chest plate. That is a little bit goofy. Clay Army? Okay, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but yeah, cool. Um, yeah, if you like what you see there, please consider voting yes or no. Best of luck to you, Wildcat. If you're a fan, please consider voting yes or no. Next up, we have the Underdog Tier 3 armor made by Upor and Hyper Monster. Very purpley. Oh, yes. Kind of like tempered in a way, I guess you could say. So if you like what you see, if you're a fan, if you like the, pa the power armor style, please consider voting yes or no for the Underdog Metal Tier 3. And then lastly, we do end with a continuation. Recycler Tier 3 has been produced. Get a good look at that. So, uh, this first got started late last year by Kaomo Legend. We originally got the likes of, I can't remember, let's go remind ourselves. I tried to remember. It was, uh, what was it? It wasn't a SAR, was it? Did I spell Recycler correct? I didn't. Recycle. There you go. Uh, it was a star. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Oh, no, I am crazy. But anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, so the collection at the moment only consists of weapons. And by default, like we said many times already today, when it only consists of weapons, it doesn't really hold up very well. But if we were to see some tier 3 armor, what could happen? Well, I could see I could see the, the demand going up a fair bit. I could see some prices improve. Um, hmm, it would be welcomed at the very least, but I don't think it would happen like in an instance. Like, Don't imagine all of these like magically doubling in price. That's definitely an answer. Thompson, by default, might, because it's a Thompson. They're, they're a bit funny. Thompsons tend to be very interesting skins during post-Christmas, so keep an eye on that regardless. But it's up to you, yeah, because uh, I don't really think all of the weapons going to go crazy, but green armor? Oh, look, you've got hoodie and pants. So it's clearly... It's clearly giving you a sneak peek for what's on the horizon as well. We've got hoodie and pants behind it. So, yeah, we're going to have a full set of uh, recycler hoodie and pants. And here you can see it utilized in the green areas. Yes. So if you're looking forward to a potential brand new green armor and clothing collection, why not consider looking at the likes of the recycler tier free armor? The choice is yours, people. Best of luck to you, Kel, my legend. And, uh, yeah, I am optimistic for it, but I just can't imagine the weapons are going to go insane. So awkward but we shall see we shall see it's up to you what you do with your vote and with that that was all the skins this week now uh guys like i said that was a completely different approach to what we have done over the past few weeks but just imagine if i did this normally just imagine if i did this normally this video very likely would have gone over two hours and you know damn well that would have happened so again my apologies to all the skin creators who are a bit surprised by this but like if i did this normally the video would have been stupidly long technically speaking still is it's still an hour and a half but Doing it the way I did probably spared us from another 45 minutes, all right? So we're straightforward. We talked about all the collection continuations. We did get a good look at a quick image of all the skins. So at the end of the day, don't forget, always keep an eye on the likes of the workshop. Show your support to all the people that you like, their, you know, all the skins that they're producing and whatnot. And most importantly, keep looking around because more and more things will be appearing. And I just want to give you a nice little showcase of something here. So last week we pointed out that we're seeing a whole bunch of uh, uh, Twitch drops be, uh, being submitted. And I do believe we have another thing to show off. Yep. So we've been seeing some more skins be appearing here. And what do we have down here? We've got some hoodies and we've got a microphone. <laughs> so that just looks ever so nice and comfy, doesn't it? Oh, yes. That's a nice, cool looking hoodie. Now, uh, just to get this across to you, we have the Twitch Rivals event taking place between December 11th to the 15th. We're going to have 10 teams. It's expected that each team is going to have a hoodie as a Twitch drop and then a skin on the side. So, for example, Wellin and Wobbles is probably going to be this purple design. Oh, it's very nice and comfy. Look at that. Uh, very nice purple looking hoodie. And if you look over to here, this is looking to be the goofy skin on the side. This right here is a stone pickaxe without the pick 
yeah, they made it transparent so it looked like just like a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be the goofiest looking Twitch drop I've seen. But fair play. They're creative. They had an idea and they executed it quite well. So cool looking stuff. Yeah. And then we also have Team Coco Lemon. So I cannot guarantee all the skins that you see here are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be Twitch drops for the next event. But um, we shall see. At the very least, they're submissions. So cool, 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 cool. But I'm pretty sure we're definitely 100% getting a Wildrum skin, a Disguised Toast skin, and a H-Dune skin, you know, the regulars, so don't be surprised. So, uh, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Uh, that was everything. Um, I hope I was more efficient this week, guys. Um, if you have any criticism, feel free to uh, post it, you know, write down some comments and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I'm only human, and I don't want to be here for about two or three hours, okay? So, catch you later. See you goodbye. Best of luck to you, uh, to all the skin creators. Uh, best of luck to all of you, the uh, investors. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So, bye.